Uh, today, we are uh, announcing additional statewide actions as it relates to our stay-at-home order here in the state of California. Uh, we are now effectively, uh, rather effective today, requiring all counties to close their indoor activities, their indoor operations uh, in the following sectors, restaurants, wineries, tasting rooms, movie theaters, family entertainment centers, zoos and museums, card rooms, uh, and uh, the shuttering of all bars. This is in every county in the state of California, uh, not just the counties that were on the monitoring list uh, that we announced on July 1st. Uh, so this is a new statewide action uh, effective today. Every county in the state of California impacted uh, by a requirement now to modify indoor operations and to expand opportunities uh, for outdoor operations uh, in these specific categories you see on the screen. We're also uh, announcing effective immediately all the counties on our county monitoring lists, uh, and I'll show you that list, an updated list in just a moment. All the counties on the updated monitoring list, uh, we are directing they close uh, indoor operations in additional sectors. So the sectors that we're closing statewide, again, restaurants, wineries, movie theaters, family entertainment, zoos, museums, card rooms, and bars to outdoor activities to the extent possible. Now, with counties on the monitoring list, we have this list. Fitness centers, places of worship, uh, offices for non-critical sectors, personal care services, uh, that includes hair salons, barber shops, and indoor malls. So again, these are sectors to close indoor operations in the counties that are on the monitoring list to include uh, these additional uh, sectors that you see on the list we've provided. I'll remind you uh, that that monitoring list uh, is one that we hold very closely. Uh, we monitor every county in the state of California, but we provide additional technical assistance to the counties that you see on this list. The counties now you see on this list total 30. We are today announcing four additional counties have come onto our list, Placer County, Sonoma, Sutter, and Yuba County. Uh, these 30 counties in total represent about 80% of the population in the state of California. Uh, I made this point uh, very clear a number of many, many weeks ago when we uh, introduced uh, the monitoring list to all of you that it's a dynamic list. Counties come on. In some cases, counties come off, depending on uh, the criteria that, again, was established on the front end and their ability to mitigate trend lines, uh, to mitigate spread, to mitigate hospitalizations, ICUs, and the like. Uh, we anticipate over the next few days a number of other counties look like, based upon the trends, to be entering onto this list. Last Monday, just to put it in perspective, just to contextualize, uh, if you tuned in last Monday, we had 20 three counties on this list today. Again, 30 counties on this list, four additional counties. Uh, this were placed over the weekend, uh, and I anticipate uh, at least uh, two counties uh, likely in the next day or two uh, to be included uh, in this list. So in these counties, we have added, I'll toggle back, uh, a requirement uh, that we close indoor operations, indoor operations. Uh, for these sectors you see on the list. Again, personal care services, indoor malls, uh, worship services, fitness centers, uh, and the like. As it relates to the total number of cases we're experiencing here in the state of California, uh, yesterday in the latest reporting period, we had 8,358 cases. Again, uh, I'm now uh, tending to disproportionately encourage you to focus on the seven-day trends and average. As these numbers can go up and down, they can mislead, they generate a headline, but don't necessarily uh, tell you what the trend lines are. Those seven-day averages, 14 days, even better, but give you a more contemporary seven-day average. You'll see uh, that seven-day, uh, about 8,211, or actually at 8,211. So yesterday, a little above the seven-day average. Uh, last week at this time, again, put it in perspective, Again, 23 counties were on the monitor list, now 30. Uh, last week's seven-day average was 7,800. 
and 76, 7,876. So you see that seven day uh, average trending upwards. What has trended down since the beginning of our uh, reporting uh, back in early April is the total positivity rate. So I'll remind you again, total number of tests performed and the percentage of people that test positive, the positivity rate. Uh, it was originally very, very high as symptomatic people were going out and getting their tests. Now that we're providing an average of over 107,000 tests on a daily basis, not just the 2,000 tests that we were providing on a daily basis in April, uh, you're seeing a positivity uh, number increase, but the positivity rate uh, has now settled in around 7.4%. In fact, specifically, over a 14-day period, 7.4%. Over a seven-day period, that number is at 7.7%. So 14-day positivity rate in the state of California, 7.4%. Uh, a seven-day average number of tests conducted over 107,000. Uh, for what it's worth, yesterday we tested over 100. And 37,000 people 